That's right, the champ is here, loved by many, hated by few, respected by all, with second to none. I'm a little stuck on myself, as always. I'm trying to get the mic levels right and the camera angles right and all this stuff. And you know, But I just go ahead and want to send a shout-out to all those people that are listening in, as this radio show is the best radio show from Como to the Congo. And if you're from Fort Worth, you know where Como's at. And if you're part of the world, which clearly you are, you're looking at this on FBRN.us, you'll be able to catch this on uh, Apple Podcasts. Now, they're behind on putting my shows on Apple Podcasts. So we need you guys to do what you guys do the most, you know, complain. You know, call into the Fishbowl Radio Network and say, like, what – I. You know, like it was in that Red Fox deal, I want my daddy's records, you know. Bubble said, I want my daddy's records. As you said, I want my commission's podcast. Say, I want my commission's podcast and get involved with that. Uh, this uh, past week, we've been uh, doing a lot of things. We've been doing uh, social justice, and we have been uh, at Lane Plating. We'll talk about that in a little while. Lane Plating, an uh, uh, EPA super fun site, poisonous gases, poisonous land, all of this is, is, is around them, and poisonous air as well. So uh, that's, you know, that's what we have here. Thank you for putting that lighting on me, man, because I was, I was like, looking at it, and I said, the lighting is bad in here, man. I mean, you know, people don't realize that I'm, I'm, I'm an artist, and I'm sensitive about my stuff. And uh, I'm also sensitive about the Dallas Cowboys and whether or not they can pull it off uh, this week against the San Francisco 49ers. And I, I posted last week about the kicker. What was the kicker's name, Gabe? Fired. Brett Fired. Brett Fired? Brett Fired? <laughs> oh, you calling his <laughs> yeah. last name. That's what should have happened. Yeah. Right, he missed an right. uh, extra point last week, right? He missed a bunch of them. <laughs> he missed four extra points. Four, like, you know, uh, four gold medals. Just c constantly missing extra points again and again and again. And it was sort of like it was when I was uh, playing football in Oak Cliff, where I made uh, Oak Cliff All Neighborhood five years in a row. All Neighborhood five years in a row. I mean, you know, I, I was just cleaning up in there, I mean, you know. And, you know, hey, um, we were going by sixes. You remember back in the day when they said, well, we're going to play football, but we, and they always had the deal about what are you going by, sixes or, or sevens. Gabe, did you ever have to do that? Yeah, yeah I did, actually. Y'all yeah. actually went by sixes or sevens? We went by both. So, like, so basically I played when I was younger. I did play. Um, like, we, well, we went by sixes, but then as I got older, because I played football from the time I was, like, nine till I was, like, 18. Oh, you, you really played so, football, man. Yeah. You really played football. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, I see. Sixes, man, you know. It, it, and, and, you know, it would be challenging in my neighborhood because somebody was good. That was good. We're like, okay, we got you 6-0. You know, 6-12-6. Yeah. 18. <laughs> 24. Yeah, when, when you got past 24. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you knew what time saying, it was. We were like, oh. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> 30, yeah, 30. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what it is, man. What do you think is going to happen in the game, man? Man, I – it's a toss-up for me. I mean, I'm a Cowboys fan, so I'm all Cowboys everything, but I'm nervous about this. We've got the number one defense. We're going up against the number one defense in the – in the NFL right now. They the number um, one defense? Number one, team? number one. And so they got one of the best defense linemen in the league and Joe and Nick Bosa. Um so it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a battle. I think it's gonna be a defensive game. Probably nobody's gonna score over thirty points. Over thirty points. Um 
But yeah, I I think it's a it's a fifty fifty game for sure. Oh, and we got a call in. We got a call in. Okay, yes, let's see what we got. All right, Commish Radio Show. You're listening in to the Commish. It's Commish Chet Brooks. What's going on, Chet? What you know, good man. What's good. happening? What's happening? Hey, man, it's all good. I was just bragging about myself, man, being, you know, an uh, all Oak Cliff neighborhood, you know. Uh, so, you know, I was I was, I was, was hell playing football, man. But uh, we got Chet Brooks here on the line. You know, this is like one of these these calls. Gabe, you know who this is? I don't. I'm going to be honest. Know? I don't. Educate me. Oh, well, I'm, 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 I don't be bragging on the other men, man. I let, you know, <laughs> see, I don't do that. But, you know, but Chet Brooks comes from a – uh, a, a great family. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I when I used to do my first I- incarnation of the Commission Radio Show, I had this. You know, I, I played old school music, and and I, I had a vault box. I called it Vonda's Vault Box. It was named mm. after Chet's sister. Mm. And you know, uh, uh, Chet played uh, football as well, and and his brother's a, a great baseball player. Chet, what what you do in football, man? I did a little bit, man. I was, uh, you know, uh, went to Car- went to Carter High School, man. You know, high there school you all go. American. That's it. All American. Went off the end, you know, was college all American. They inducted me into the Hall of Fame, I think, in uh, in '11. Uh, went on to the, play with the Niners for a couple of years, you know, a few years. Got a couple of Super Bowl rings, so I did a little bit. Well, a little bit. Yeah, that okay. Gabe now shaking his head, going yeah. like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. So you, so, so how many Super Bowl rings you got, Chip? I got, I got two of them with him. Should have been three. But, so what happened yeah, on the third one, man? Uh, you know, we was we was beating the Giants, man, trying to run the clock out, man, and uh, uh, Craig fumbled, uh, unfortunately, and you know we wound up losing. They kicked the field goal, beat us. I think maybe fifteen, thirteen. Yeah. See. So now, now, Gabe. Now I got a ringer. Now, right? Yeah. You, you see how I just called somebody up, <laughs> Super see. Bowl champion, two-time Super Bowl champion, just like that. I see. And we talk, and people wonder, you know, they say, can the commission do sports shows, man? Uh, uh, Chet, yeah. congratulations on your career, man. I, Absolutely. I, 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 your 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 family. You like like two, three generations. You got a son that's playing ball too, right? Yeah, yeah, he's uh, actually a freshman at UT, man, uh, doing his thing, man. He wound up starting the last three or four games of the season last year. Uh, played in the Alamo Bowl. I think they uh, lost to Washington, man, but he played great, man. Had him uh, three pass breakups, you know. Uh, I think he graded his highest grade for the year in that game. So uh, he's, got, he's got a bright future, man. Good, good, good. Now, your family is, is, is really big with, with Dallas Cowboys and all this stuff. Now, you from Dallas. You're a Dallas boy. You play ball in San Francisco. What side of the field you going to be? It's like, what side of the field you going to be on, man? You going to be a Cowboy or a 49? I know you got rings with the 49ers, but you grew up, man, you know, a Dallas thing. What you going to do, man? Well, here's the deal. I got to go full disclosure, man. So, as a youngster, man, I was a Steelers fan. Oh, Wow. So, Cowboys never was in the mix. I was, you know, I was kind of the black sheep of the family. You know, um, I had a couple of brothers that uh, that were Redskins fans. So, man, my my pops, my mom, my older brother, my sister, they all were, uh, you know, Cowboy fans, man. But there was a few Rebels in the family, too, man. Uh, uh, so, for, it's easy, you know. It's the Niners. I mean, you know, if I'm rooting for somebody, it's the Niners. But I got to be true for this game. Like I said, it's a fifty-fifty game, man. I think, uh, I think the rookie quarterback. You know, I don't know how he's going to stand up to that pressure. Eleven's going to put on him all game. Um, so that's going to be, you know, that's going to be an interesting dynamic. And then, you know, uh, seeing how well uh, or how consistent, uh, you know, Dak is, can he pull off another game like he had last week? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Now. Uh, Stephen A. says that Dak is not consistent at all. Stephen A. been blowing up the Cowboys on on on, on Dak, man. It's just uh, yeah, he's Steve, a clown. Steelers man. got too. Yeah, so Stephen A. Is a he's a Steeler guy too. So he don't necessarily like the Cowboys, but he's he's right though. I mean, Dak is Dak has been pretty inconsistent. Dak has been. I think he's a good quarterback. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I don't know if I'd have paid him the money Jerry paid. That's another thing, but. Uh, I mean, the consistency, man. I mean, if you're going to be great, you got to be consistent. That's part of being great, man. All the time. 
Yeah. Yep. All the time. Well, your 49ers, man, what do they have to do to win? Uh, the young quarterback got to manage the game, man. Don't turn the ball over. Don't make no mistakes. You know, take advantage of opportunities to score, you know, and uh, allow, the, allow the players around him, man, to make the plays, man. The defense gonna be the defense. I think the defense I think on both sides gonna play. You know, I think both of them gonna be who they are. Both both of those uh, sides of the ball will play great. You know, Forty Nine has been pretty consistent. You know, all phases of the ball, man. And I think the Cowboys same way, man. Defensively all year, I think they've been pretty consistent, man. So that's gonna be interesting, man. Somebody something's got to give, man. Yeah, somebody's old got to go, as they used to say in boxing yeah, terms. Yeah, yeah, somebody got to go. You know, I think it's gonna be a good one though. Okay, so all right, so you 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 sound like a real politician. You didn't make a, a real form. <laughs> you were sounding like yeah, me. I tell you, it, what? At the, at the end of the day, I'm gonna go with the Niners. Huh? At the end of the day, I'm gonna go with the oh, Niners. The Niners, are, oh, you know, I, I gotta go with the Niners. I'm okay. not. I can't go with the Cowboys. That's, okay. And go against who I. Okay. You know, but uh, but I, I gotta I gotta you know let you know that hey. It's gonna be a fifty-fifty game. It's, it's some, you know, some things gotta happen. You know, both teams for, you know, for them to win. So, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be rooting for the Niners. All but, right. well, we, you know, we gonna Cowboys talk. could if, if Dak if Dak pulls off another uh, version of what he put it, the way he played last week, man, it's gonna be tough for for San Fran to, to get a dub, man. Well, we're gonna talk later after this. You know, we put this just on a spur of the moment, literally within the last thirty <laughs> minutes. We. Just, the, the, the producer didn't even know what was going on. I, you know, I said, I'm going to call my boy up. I said, because he, he asked me, he said, what do you think about the game? I said, well, let me call somebody who knows something about football up. So I said, well, hey, let me Appreciate just give you a call up, man, and, and see what's going on. So I thank you for taking my call. If I, if I had this planned out, if I had this planned out, I would have uh, called Michael Carter, too. And we could have did the San Francisco 49ers for the real deal. Gabe, you know who Michael Carter is? I do. That one you know. Okay. I do, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Chet, don't give him no autograph. Gabe, don't get no autograph. He didn't know you were, man. I, I, in my defense, I'm only 24, man. I'm, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm just true. saying, I'm 24 years Chet, old. Chet, he's only 24, man. He's 25 in August. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> young, young people, they don't know anything other than what Facebook happened last week, man. Hey, man, LeBron. Hey, LeBron's still the greatest basketball player ever. LeBron right. still, I mean, so they never seen I ain't gonna say that. Michael Jordan. <laughs> I know enough about Jordan to know. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I know enough about Jordan to know. That's what it is. You know, I, I, his generation think the 49ers only had Colin Kaepernick as a quarterback, man. That's not right. true. We're yeah, not doing that. No We're not doing that. That's, said, too- that's what he said. What the quarterback? He had, he had Steve Young. I don't know Steve hey. Young. Yeah, I don't know yeah, Joe Montana. I'm not that Joe young, man. Don't try to play me. <laughs> Would you say Chet? Would yeah, you say, you say Chet? Joe Montana? Steve Young, man. They yeah, you don't, don't know nothing about Joe Montana. <laughs> hey, hell, I'm old enough to know who John Brody is, man. I'm that old, right. man. Yeah, you know, hey. Yeah, I mean- <laughs> Even mentioned Starbuck or Bradshaw, any of them guys. No, they no, they don't even know who Roger Starbuck is. I had somebody come uh, by the other day talking about why we got a a, 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 a hat on, on the side of the road. I said, what are you talking about? He said, I was driving on the freeway, and on the freeway it, 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 it said Dallas, and it had a hat. I said, what? Oh, you see, you're talking about the Tom Landry hat? <laughs> yeah, Tom Landry freeway. They didn't understand uh, who Tom Landry was. They didn't know that. Uh-oh. Goodness. Oh my goodness! And, and a cowboy fan. And, and, and a cowboy fan. Now is look, it? I know right. cowboys history. <laughs> yeah. We're not gonna do that. Yeah, but I... <laughs> truth, truth be known, though, you know, in Dallas yeah. this week they've been blowing up. How about them cowboys when the cowboys beat the Forty ers And that's been how many years ago has that been? They oh, still man, been blowing maybe. it up. But yeah. yeah. But we want to thank you for calling in, man. I know you you were busy watching football. I'm gonna let you get back to it, and uh, we'll holler at you soon, man. And uh, tell them how they can follow you on social media, man. On social media, how can on Twitter? You still on Twitter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all can uh, follow me uh, at the D D A D B Whisperer, the D B Whisperer. All right, we got you. And of course, everybody know to follow me, Ed Gray, 1906. Hey, Chet, we appreciate you, man. All right, y'all take care. I didn't take care. I didn't. Later. All right. 
It was Chet Brooks, two-time Super Bowl champion of San Francisco 49ers. I just wanted, you know, I was just flexing, man. Like, I called somebody <laughs> up and asked somebody about the game. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I set you up good good on that one day. Yeah, you got me. You he got say, me. Hey, it's, he knows a little something about football. Well, tell him who you are. <laughs> you know, that, that's that's what it is. So, mm -hmm. you know, so that that's what we're doing here. We're, we're talking uh, sports uh, when it goes to that. Uh, man, I, 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 what I need to do is put that meme in there about, about the uh, – uh, about Jerry Jones and the kicker, man. I mean, I just could not believe that, man. I'm still tripping off of that. Like, I, after the first one, I was like, okay, cool. You know, that happens. It is what yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The second one, I was I like, said, I okay. I was like, the, the second one. The third one. The third one, I was like, get him out. Like, go for two. I'm screaming like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm telling you, you don't, yeah. need, you don't need to do that now. I yeah. mean, you really don't, you, you really don't need to, you really don't need to go ahead and, and, uh, you know, uh, we every every point now is is two. Yeah, I, we don't need that. We just don't need that. And we, to be honest, a two pointer is honestly a more higher percentage. Like you, you closer to the end zone. They put you at the two yard line when you go for two. So it's a higher. I wouldn't percentage. have no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have no field goal kicker. Uh, I wouldn't. That's exactly what he would be. He'd be a field goal kicker. Yeah, I said, I'm. I'm going for two every play. Yeah. I'm like, just I'm just going. This is it, that, that that's that's exactly what I'm doing. You know, uh, I didn't know this was going to be a sports show. We're just doing sports. Now. <laughs> I don't even want to. I don't want to talk about nothing else now. Man. We just after this, it's like just just talk about sports. You know, hey, you know. I wish we had some more people to call in to do that. If we had yeah. just advertised for that, that would have been all right. But you know, hey, you, you know, I'm gonna do that the next time around. We talk about boxing. You're gonna you're gonna ask me about that. And then I'm on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call the champ up in, in Oak Cliff and DeSoto and say, hey man, let's talk boxing. And you're gonna be like, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how y'all tried to play me though, like I don't know who Steve Young is. That's I crazy. Mean, Steve Young. That's messed up. <laughs> That's foul. Joe like, <laughs> Montana. I don't, I don't know who that is. Nah, mm -hmm. we're not doing that. Mm -hmm. See, you, you cause look, <laughs> Steve Young, Joe Montana, those are people like those are names that we like have been hearing our entire yeah. life. Like, I know because you watch. They they used to have with this show Classic ESPN. They don't even have yeah. that no more. He has had the channel. <laughs> they don't have that no more. What you do? Like OD on that one time. <laughs> <laughs> you just kept watching it. But you know it's funny. So like a lot of players that I like a lot of the older generation that I know. I used to like watch NFL Network religiously. So like that they used is. To have, I thought the NFL was a religion. I mean, it, it, it's on Sunday too, and it's just like all the others, yeah. right? But like that was like the only channel that I used to watch for a long and time. It, it when has I, to when be I started religion, playing, because some churches glit out early for the Cowboys. <laughs> I've seen that happen. I've seen it too. I'm yeah, be like, be like, I've been there. Yeah, Richard West. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna let y'all go. We know y'all want to watch the game. You know, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, 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 you know, they stopped doing that. You know, when <laughs> like you know they started having like churches and everything, uh -huh. and and uh, they started having the game go on, and, mm -hmm. and and everybody be you know listening to the game and everything, uh -huh. and and the minister be up there and, and hallelujah. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's like everybody say hallelujah, and everybody look down. And he looked down at the phone, going <laughs> <laughs> something that happened, and he said hallelujah. Yeah. But you know that. But that's that's in, in football in the state of Texas. It's a religion, man. Is it like that in in, in Missouri? Uh, no. Nah. Football is it's like a it's the third most popular sport. Like well, in St. Louis, first, basketball. basketball. It's basketball and baseball are the top two in that area. Like it's very like because we got to think coming out of St. Louis, we got Bradley Bill, we got Jason Tatum, we got Larry Hughes, uh, Darius Miles. It's a lot. Like it's a lot of like known NBA players that come out of St. Louis. So, um, heavily, heavy basketball city. Heavy no. basketball city. Well, uh, shameless plug here. We are looking at uh, putting together a documentary on Texas basketball. Uh, so, we got that coming up. This is, mm -hmm. you know, the stuff that I was telling people I was transitioning uh, more so this year into. And it was documentaries and that kind of thing. So, uh uh, Denton Black Film Festival next weekend. I will be at the Denton Black Film Festival talking about Echoes of the Hill, which is a documentary on uh, uh, 
Arlington, Texas, in the black section of Arlington, Texas, done by uh, Lindell Singleton. So mm. uh, that's what I'll be doing uh, uh -huh. next week. Nice. That's what we're doing. Let's go to uh, some commercials. Yes, sir. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll finish up uh, freelancing. I'll, I'll mention a little things about the books that I'm reading and uh, where you can pick up this Remembering Black Dallas calendar. You ready with the uh, commercial drops? Yes, sir. All right, let's roll with it. Hey, you know, whenever I want good Cajun food, I go to Thibodeau's, located at 107 North Cedar Ridge in Duncanville, Texas. They're really hot, just like the Commission Radio Show in Thibodeau's. Hot as this gumbo. We will see you later at Thibodeau's. What's up, beautiful peoples out there? It's your boy, Maul, a.k.a. Cool Pop Watson, baby. Make sure you check my man out. Three to five every Saturday. Commish Radio Show. Make sure y'all come check my man out. I'm Pastor Freddie Haynes. I listen to the Commish Show on the fishbowl for my social activism information so I can be a better agitator. Who was that masked man? You mean you don't know? That was no masked man. That was the commish. Saturdays from 5 to 6 p.m. on the Fishbowl Radio Network. Hi, my name is Gail Todd with Townview Realtors. If you find yourself in the market to buy, sell, lease, or maybe you want to be a part of this hot real estate market by investing, just give my team of professionals and I a call at 214-675-9572. Again, that's 214-675-9572. Or you can email me at gtod88 at yahoo.com. With me... It's all about you. Commission Radio Show. We are back again. Uh, well, we're talking sports during this hour as we uh, get ready to go back on the air. Uh, we will, uh, second hour, we will be talking about politics. We, we just want to go ahead and, and kick it for a minute talking about sports. Uh, also, before we go any further, we got a call on the line. I, we we have a call. On the okay, let's hit them with the call right now. Let's see. This is Great Commission Radio Show. Hello there, Commish. Uh, it's uh, it's been a while since we talked. Uh, and uh, uh, have you been checking us out? Uh, hey man, you don't even tell me who you are. Who is this? This ain't who I it's think it is. This is Jerry Jones, <laughs> owner of the Dallas Cowboys, and. Uh, and uh, Super Bowl owner after uh, after just a little spell there, and I'm not being trite when I say that either. I'm just we just took a little break and uh, had the competition build up their commish so we could be back for relevant. I tell you, <laughs> pass me that Johnny Blue, please. <laughs> well, well, I'll be dog. I ain't talked to you in a little bit. This is hey, Gabe uh, mm -hmm. during the first uh, couple of sessions of the Commish Radio Show back in the day. We, uh, Michael Todd, who legal standpoint, Michael mm -hmm. Todd, who's going to be at the second hour, uh, and also some other Dallas Cowboys. We used to hang out uh, at, at this uh, cigar bar, and we used to talk. And every once in a while, uh, well, owner Jerry 
because that's not the real Jerry Jones, right. folks. It's not the real Jerry Jones. Uh, are you the real Jerry Jones or not? Are you owner Jerry? Which one are you? I'm owner Jerry. Owner Jerry. Owner Jerry. Well, owner Jerry. Owner Jerry. <laughs> well, uh, 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 I had to think about some things because I had a lot. Of course, we had a lot to think about there with uh, the way uh, 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 Marlboro, Marlboro was uh, 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 missing some missing some action there and gave us quite a quite a quite a quite a scare uh and uh well uh, uh brought in some competition for him and to see uh, uh just to make sure that he's gonna he's gonna do the right thing and uh and make some uh knock some kicks now now if you've been paying attention now and, and making sure that uh that you have been following where we've been going and seeing how we've been uh, headed down the direction that we were taken toward where we were going. Now, that's not what? to say that no, no, uh, no, no, we no. weren't. Uh, I, we need to get Gabe. Go, go Gabe, <laughs> we <laughs> shaking your head over there. Is, is that Jerry Jones or not? I, I'm, I not to say so. that uh, I, I think. Uh, <laughs> we weren't headed in the right direction and uh and we're not worried i'm saying all this to say okay that Thank uh, you. Uh, we're not worried about our kicking situation or our our coaching situation well uh, who's gonna how's be, it how's that for you there who, who's, gonna be, who's gonna be coaching you uh uh you gonna i mean because now, now now i know it's been said around the metroplex from jackson Sox was a long time ago and uh, I have every confidence in Garrett to lead this squad Wait, to whole, where who? Uh, uh, to, uh, Wait, uh, I said I have every confidence in that uh, I could get one of any 50 coaches to coach the Dallas Cowboys uh, after Jimmy left. And, uh, of course, we gave a nod to Campo and uh, Wait a minute, hold on, that, that's doing. not even in order what happened. You drinking again, owner, Jerry? Uh, uh, Johnny Blue. <laughs> okay. Rocks. Okay. All right. All right, folks, everybody, that was Brother-in-law, who was the first member of the Commission Radio Show. Brother-in-law, how you been, man? Lovely. Just lovely. You good, good. We had the Cowboys about to beat the 49ers again, and we all know what that means. What Once the Cowboys beat the 49ers, that means it's Super Bowl time. To the bowl, y'all. To the bowl. Super Bowl, y'all. To the bowl. So you actually think the Cowboys are going to win, huh? Man, without a doubt, man. Without a doubt. Brock Purdy, whatever. Yeah, okay. Now, they got a Bosa brother. They don't have both the Bosa. So, we're not worried about that. Well, We got Young Lion on our side. Have you seen the defense play? Yeah, I, well, hey, I've seen the defense play, man. You know, I, I was checking them out last week. They look pretty good. I mean, you know, they've been looking good all year round, not just last week, all year round. I, I give them, they've been looking decent. They, they play some but, games up and down, have some. But now they some of all, they've, been, they, they, they've been fairly more consistent than the quarterback. That's the deal, the quarterback. It, it, it's, it's, man. I, I don't know about that, man. I'm just straight up. I don't know about that. I mean, you know. You don't know about that. I don't know about that. He played good last week. But, man, next this week, let's just see. Let's just see. It's going to be the same. You, you're going to get a repeat of the same game. And, and besides, and besides, even, even if he has a pick, to be aggressive, you're going to take more chances. I was explaining to a young man just last night that when you change your demeanor up, everybody knows Dak takes care of the ball. He, he threw in his safety, and one of his early complaints was that he wasn't taking chances. He wouldn't go deep. Dak can't throw the deep ball. Dak has shown he's more than capable of throwing the deep ball. And he's gotten more aggressive. If you're playing with somebody who's not aggressive, you're not expected. Remember what they said, uh, Mike, Magic Johnson? If you ain't ready for the ball, if you ain't looking the ball, hit your side of the head. Well, that's what you got with his receivers. They're not they're – not, they're used to the calm back. They're used to the back that don't take chances. So then when he's throwing the tight throws and he, 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 he's being more aggressive, they're not prepared for it. So now the receivers have to step up. 
You got to be ready at all times. That that throw you think he won't try, he's gonna try. So you got to, you, you know, it's a different deck. It's not the same deck. Okay. It's not the same team. No, true. When we made that team. run in the nineties, that's what people worried about. Oh, it's, it's never coming back. One in fifteen. Uh, nobody, everybody gonna get tired of Jim. All that rah rah, all that fussing at grown men. Then you know, a couple Super Bowls later, <laughs> he's a god. Walks on water. Well, you know, Jimmy is, is like that, man. You know, and I always call him my coach. I remember back in the day when we used to do the uh, uh, show and you used to do your own uh, uh, Jerry impression down there. We had a K- K-Dub, Kevin Williams. K-Dub. Yeah, yeah. he uh, – Signed off on it. Yeah, he looked at you <laughs> like – he looked at you first like – because you he had never seen you do on a Jerry, right? And <laughs> he looked at you like, this better be funny. He just looked at you, gave you that look like, you know, and K-Dub from Oak Cliff, too. So we all had that Oak Cliff vibe, right? So, you know, he looked at you like, yeah, well, hopefully this is funny. And and Michael Todd was there. We was all hanging out. And uh, you did it. And after a little while, everybody came to you, man. And anytime you came in there, it's it's on a Jerry. It's on a Jerry. So that was part of the stick for a little while, Gabe. We did that. (laughs) So we had that going on. And so his imitations uh, uh, got noticed by the Dallas Cowboys, the real Dallas Cowboys. So that's what he did. <laughs> yeah, it's on point. Yeah. <laughs> it's on point. So now nah, we just caught him on the spur of the moment deal, man. We just did. Uh, uh, Daryl, uh, you just followed Chet Brooks. Chet Brooks was here yeah. earlier. So he, I caught the tail in. Yeah, he called in. So we got that. So we you. you you can say you was on a radio show with Chad Brooks, man. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> so, yeah, but then you, you've been on radio shows with lots of other famous people, so that that doesn't matter. Lots of other people. Lots of other people. So, <laughs> so, we'll let you go. You're looking at the game. Uh, so, that's it. We'll holler at you later. Thank you, Owner Jim. All right, man. We appreciate you, man. All right. Yeah, and uh, we thank you, too, there, uh, Commissioner. <laughs> uh, uh, go, uh, go Cowboys. Go Cowboys. <laughs> Johnny Blue, right? Got it. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Spur yeah. of the moment type thing here, Commission Radio Show. That's what we're doing. Uh, Gabe, we just put together shows just like this all mm-hmm. the time, man. Just, just, just come together like this, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, it happens like that. You give me this nice fake plant in front of me. <laughs> I'm looking the way this looks and everything. It looks so professional. You got a yeah. fake plant. You, you didn't know, have to man. tell them it was fake, though. They could No, just... no, no. They know it's fake. I mean, you know, it's like, you know, it's like. That's what I'm saying. You know, I'm like, you could have just let them. Everybody knows. It's, oh, they, 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 people call in and say, I had somebody do that to me this past week. They said, yeah. I love what you do. You do it at your house. Said, no, no. It's I actually come into a studio. They say, well, yeah. I mean, and it, so now I have to point to them and say, see? has a fake plant just like at a studio. <laughs> a real fake plant. A real, a real fake, fake plant. plant. <laughs> <laughs> a real fake plant. But what hasn't been fake this week is what we've been doing. And uh, we've been uh, researching on environmental justice. And we were at the EPA Superfund site. And, uh, you know, we uh, this is our closing. And, and because of our next hour, we're going to go with legal standpoint. But we want to... Uh, have the folks that are listening in uh, to uh, uh, buy the Pettus Norman book. Uh, I have been reading it, Pettus Norman. Go ahead and Google him, man. Pettus Norman used to be a Dallas Cowboy. Uh, He played with the Dallas Cowboys in the 60s and the 70s, and he was, uh, uh, well, a a social activist. He's one of the heroes that I, I knew. I wrote about him in my dissertation as well, my, my master's thesis as well on Dallas civil rights, 1936 to 1963. So pick up that Pettus Norman book. I will be bringing it uh, because it's, it's, it's sports time as well. So we want to uh, get you caught up on that. And he talks about uh, his uh, upbringing in sports and, and also what he did uh, as a businessman. He was a, a businessman in Dallas, Fort Worth, and also a political activist. Uh, I, I recall very vividly uh, one time that uh, 
Pettis Norman and uh, uh, Commissioner John Wiley Price were in uh, Commissioner Price's car. They went downtown to Love Field to pick up Jesse Jackson, who was running for president. And they came back, and there they are. They, they driving around, uh, Jesse in the back seat, Pettis in the front, and John driving, and and I was their bodyguard. They pulled into the hotel, and I was bodyguarding Jesse Jackson. So that's not in the book, but I just got that memory of, of uh, Pettis Norman as well. I want to give people their flowers, uh, Pettis Norman. Shout out to Pettis Norman. I'm going to tag him. He's one of the uh, uh, followers uh, of the Commission Radio Show. Uh, we have an autograph, a copy of his book that we will be bringing soon. And uh, uh, he was in a couple of Super Bowls, too. He was in the first Dallas Cowboys Super Bowl that they won uh, when they played the Miami Dolphins. And he was also in the Super Bowl that they lost uh, when they played the Baltimore Colts. And he was also in uh, the Ice Bowl as well. So he played in a total of, three, uh, total of four NFL championship games. Two Super Bowls and two NFL championship games, which is a total of four, uh, well, four NFL championships. Gabe doesn't know they played NFL championships before the Super Bowl. He's young. He's 24. I knew that. We're not about to play me like that. <laughs> I'm not about to let you do that. <laughs> but you the one said you looked at the – you watched the NFL. Yeah, I grew up watching the NFL Network. They had a the bunch NFL of NFL Network. history on there. So, like, a lot of this stuff, obviously, I was too young to be there for it, but I know about it, like, you know. I, but I did play you good on that. I, yeah, I set you, you up did. with that one there. You did. I did. I did <laughs> yeah, you I mean, did. I did. I don't know everybody. Yes, yeah, I mean, you know. No, no, not to Pettis Norman. I don't especially know him. <laughs> But you know, like you know, the NFL championships, you know, they play. Yeah. They they it's had two different before leagues. The Super Bowl. Yeah, I know. No, they had those before the Super Bowl. You know, yeah. the Ice Bowl and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, okay. <laughs> got to be nice to Gay. Be nice to Gay. We got one more show left. <laughs> 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 got one more show. <laughs> That's Michael Todd's right. restream, though. If it don't go on, like, y'all saw me on Facebook. <laughs> I can't. I, I, you going to see me get really mad in person with Mike when he's here. I don't know why he's doing that. <laughs> then walk him out. I don't know what was up with Gabe in uh -huh. there, man. I don't yeah. know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then somebody going to send the mic. You know he was clowning the producer before. That's the reason why he didn't get <laughs> on, man. Well, remember in Black Dallas, okay, this is a, a great calendar. We need you to pick that up. And uh, they have all of these playmakers in here. Uh, and, you know, I, uh, I'm looking at the calendar, and let's see. Great calendar. I, I, I do see where is it. Where, oh, let me tell you about the calendar again. The calendar, yeah, well, there we go, boom. All right, so anyway, has a QR code on it, and you uh, put the uh, picture, uh, you put your camera next to the QR code, and it'll, it'll go to uh, YouTube, and it'll go to YouTube, and then the interview will come up. So check that interview out. Uh, I am for March. Uh, this is the most well-worn March in this calendar. The rest of them apparently haven't been used. So apparently I go to March quite a bit for some reason. I just don't know why. My birthday is in February. I don't know why. But anyway, that's what it said. Uh, we want you to go ahead and pick up this calendar here. Pick up the calendar and uh, take a look at some of the uh, playmakers. It's called Black Men Changemakers. Uh, and uh, it's uh, all Dallas people, and uh, I'm in it. So that being said, that's what we got. Uh, that's what we have, rather, for uh, remembering Black Dallas. So we have the calendar. We also have uh, the book, the commission book uh, of the week you know, with Pettis Norman. We will be putting that out as well because we changed the direction of this show because, well, we had Chet Brooks and Owner Jerry on. And we want you to you know know about the Dallas Cowboys. Hey, do you have that NFL drop? Um, let me see. Yeah, let's play that. We're gonna play the NFL drop uh, as as a way out since we're just doing all sports and everything. You gotcha, know? gotcha. So we have that one, 
and we'll go thank you showing us i saw a heart go up there somebody actually liked it they do i'm gonna go ahead and let's get uh, go get another heart i'm gonna cheat i'm gonna put my own hearts on there <laughs> so when other people go look at it thank you <laughs> thank you we need some more hearts Spread you know so you know you know that way people that's how you do it you you know, because I, I see other people do it. They have all these hearts. Nobody be watching that show. <laughs> it's their hearts. So you can tell it's their hearts. and be like, that's the same dude's heart. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know what's up with that. So, okay. So that being said, that's what we got. Okay, enough hearts, enough hearts, enough hearts, enough hearts. <laughs> enough hearts. That's enough, 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 enough. Oh, enough. But what you can do is uh, how can they pay for this show, man? Um. They can. Um, I'm pretty sure they can send it through Cash App, right? Cash App, yeah. Great Vision 2020. Uh, go ahead and do that, and and do that as well. Uh, that's what we have here. Let's see. Uh, hopefully, it's showing up there. Commission Radio shows. It, it should see. be lined up right there. Let's see if it sh- pops up. Did you take the Cash App thing down? I did not, but somebody somebody it. took it down. See, right above, let me go ahead and do this, like, because I'm looking at this as we go live on the air. Right there, see, right there, it's supposed to say cash out. But it, 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 it doesn't have that there. Yeah, see, I just saw it right there. I just, I just posted and I just saw it the way I looked up. I'm going to do it again. It's supposed to say Gray Vision 2020 cash out. Fishbowl, come on now. Y'all want y'all's money every week? <laughs> Gabe, can you it. send a note to the person who's doing this? Oh, you can fix this yourself? Yes. I just oh, you it. can fix it? Yeah. Well, who did that, man? I don't know who did that, actually. I have no idea. Probably a no Trump idea. support. <laughs> We're going to blame it on Trump. It wasn't I, me. I, I've been, it wasn't you. It wasn't me. Yeah, I've, I've heard that song before. I know you have. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's it, but we're out. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play the, uh, the the outgo music, and then when we come back, it'll be Michael Todd. See, I thought that I was going to get him, but he got me first, man. All right, Gabe. <laughs> there you go. Let's go. Right, we out. Hello out there. My name is Byron Williams, former NFL player. I'm with the NFL Players Association. And when I'm not in the community, I'm listening to Mr. Ed Gray, the commish. What's up, beautiful peoples out there? It's your boy, Maul, a.k.a. Cool Pop Watson, baby. Make sure you check my man out. Three to five every Saturday. Commish Radio Show. Make sure y'all come check my man out. Who was that masked man? You mean you don't know? That was no masked man. That was the commish. Saturdays from 5 to 6 p.m. on the Fishbowl Radio Network. Hi, my name is Gail Todd with Townview Realtors. If you find yourself in the market to buy, sell, lease, or maybe you want to be a part of this hot real estate market by investing, just give my team of professionals and I a call at 214-675-9572. Again, that's 214-675-9572. Or you can email me at gtodd88 at yahoo.com. With me... It's all about you.